Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. I'm standing in the same spot in my garden that I was about three months ago, looking at the same stars in the same position in the sky at about the same time as I was three months ago. I'm just trying to zoom in on them so you can see them. Uh, my point then was that this pair of stars in this constellation appear to get much, much wider apart as I zoom in. To me that's evidence that the stars are very close and in the same layer. Uh, just above the apex of my roof here. Uh, not quite in the same position as they were the other night because it's not as late as it was. But uh, I will now zoom in on the pair. And you will see we get the same effect. Okay, we get the widening of this gap, just as before. So just to reiterate, if these stars or the constellation were each millions of miles or many light years apart, we simply would not get this divergence as we zoom in on that particular patch of sky. Okay. I just wanted to show how uh, this is something that's really quite impossible on the spinning ball earth. Uh, above the rooftop there um, we have the same stars uh, that we always see uh, going the same direction in the same place in the sky every single night, every night of the year. It never changes. It's always the same. And if you imagine uh, being on the equator, on a spinning ball Earth, and looking up into the sky, say, I don't know, 50, 60 degrees, and seeing the very same stars every single night throughout the year, even though we're supposed to be hurtling round a big sun, it doesn't matter how, how far away you say these stars are supposed to be. It's simply impossible for me to look up into the sky from the equator at this angle and see the same stars night after night, all year round, year after year. To illustrate my point here, I'm seeing the same stars in around the same place in the sky at about the same time of night all year round. And if we compare these observations with what we are supposed to see on a heliocentric model, I think it is impossible to be seeing the same stars every night all year round. Here we see a top-down plan view of the solar system with the Sun in the middle and the Earth at uh, four different times of year orbiting the Sun. So of course the daylight side is always the side of the Earth that is facing the Sun according to this model. And we are told that as the globe rotates we turn away from the Sun and the night sky is revealed. But we can see that even after three months we should have an entirely different view of the night sky. And six months later, it should be an entirely different view of the sky, as if we were in a room, first looking out of the front window, turning around 180 degrees, and then looking out of the back window. The view should be completely different. But I look up from my location near the equator and I see the same stars in the same place at the same time of night all year round. But if you are quite far north of the equator, your view of the stars throughout the year will change. But this is only because 
The days are short in the winter and long in the summer. So it's not to do with which way the earth is facing, but more to do with when the sunlight goes away and reveals the night sky. So when you have short days and long nights, you're going to see more stars than on long days and short nights. And when it's a short night, you will start to see the stars when they've already gone past you quite a way further than they would have done during the longer nights. Thank you very much.